Next into my blazing bowl, I've got a pair of quail. Um, I've cut the backbone out of these quail, spatchcocked them, laid them out. I'm going to season them with a little high mountain Cajun rub. And then I'm going to go a little Asian on here. In my little drip tray down here, I have, I have butter, I have cara cara orange, I've got ginger, and I've got um, jalapeno, and I'm going to put a little ponzu in there. And this will be the sauce that goes on my quail. You don't need a separate skillet to make the sauce. It's right there. Into the blazing bowl goes my quail. If you've got something that's, that's a little drippy, that's, that's maybe it's got a little marinade on it, a little bit oily, I wouldn't recommend setting it up on the, on the uh, blazing bowl uh, little burner plate here. Um, I like to season it here, pull that out, and then getting that plate hot first seems to make a difference. So don't do what I did, but it should taste okay. One of the things that I learned about my blazing bull is when you're cooking something like quail, and as much as I like it to be crispy, crunchy on the outside, I decided to lower it somewhat. It has seven levels of, of uh, whatever, levels away or farther away or closer to, to the heat source. And I noticed that it was browning rather quickly, and I didn't want it to be undercooked while it was searing on the outside, being a delicate piece of flesh like that. So I lowered it a little bit. Let me take a look, see what it looks like now. Let me give it a flip. What I'm amazed by is how quickly this thing cooks. And I shouldn't be amazed because 1500 degrees is really, really hot. Um, I'm gonna, there's so many things I wanna try here. Burgers, right? When you cook it yourself, seared on the outside. You know, I like a steak that's Pittsburgh rare, they call it. It's black and blue. It's black on the outside and blue rare on the inside. You can do that with the blazing bowl. Let me check my quail. So again, this quail is going to be a little crispy on the outside. Um, I think the sauce is going to be really good. And uh, I think we've got about another two minutes. I know these quail, these quail are done here. I can tell by the look of them. They're nice and firm. And I like my quail to be just a little bit pink at the thigh joint when I take them off and let them rest for a few minutes. Now, even though it got a little crispy on the outside, I don't consider that a bad thing. I consider that a victory um, because um, with any meat, for me, I prefer it crunchy over, there we go. Um, I prefer it crunchy over not crunchy. I like the skin to be crisp, and I know you probably do too. So let's check my sauce here. You know, one of the things that I've learned is that I may want to get my sauce going earlier in the drip pan because there's a Kara Kara orange. Um, because the meat cooks so quickly and sears so quickly that it um, the sauce doesn't really get as much of a chance to blend. So I'm just going to put all that on there. A little jalapeno, some pickled ginger. Take my word for it. The blazing bowl works well on quail.